My name is Ben Eirich. Uh, my position is a global technology sponsor work for Exxon Mobil Research and Engineering. My name is Smriti Dance. My position is section head in corporate strategic research at Exxon Mobil Research and Engineering. Hi, I'm Doug Deckman. I'm the passenger car engine oil technology lead in the lubricants technology division of Exxon Mobil Research and Engineering. I'm Kevin Kelly. Uh, I'm the chief for driveline and electric vehicle technology uh, for Exxon Mobil Research and Engineering. I am Ahmed Abulanin. I'm uh, currently the operations manager of the Port Allen Lubricants Plant in Port Allen, Louisiana. The background to the invention is uh, the desire to improve the fuel efficiency and reduce the emissions from today's um, high power uh, passenger car vehicles. Emission requirements are becoming more stringent. Fuel economy requirements are becoming more important. And one way to achieve that fuel economy improvement is by reducing the viscosity of the engine oil. This invention allows us to reap the fuel economy benefits of going to lower viscosity while maintaining or improving the excellent wear protection of the oil um, for, the, uh, for the engine. It was a combination of uh, various molecules that we put together in this formulation that allowed a fuel efficiency benefit without compromising wear protection. And so it really was around the chemistry. So there was a chemistry and an engineering component that came together. That was primarily the advancement that allowed this invention to have a granted patent. And we really knew we had something unique and, and unexpected when we tested uh, the wear performance in various different engines of our low viscosity engine oil prototypes. It was also a lot of back and forth communication with the auto builders to say, here's our new technology and they would test the product and say, we like the fuel economy benefit, but there's some deficiencies in these areas and you need to improve the product. And we went back to the drawing board and we did. The product today is deployed uh, globally in five different products that are offered by, by ExxonMobil. Uh, it's being used in passenger vehicle uh, engines. Um, all over the place, probably somebody using it right now. Growing up in New Jersey, um, being able to practice science in New Jersey, uh, being recognized by the R&D Council of New Jersey and be a, to receive an award that's associated with one of the greatest American inventors is, is truly an excitement for, for me personally. Thomas Edison's legacy of hard work um, and perseverance and innovation is something that we all strive to embody. And so it is an absolute honor. Of course, knowing about Thomas Edison and finally getting to visit this place, this laboratory, it's, it's a it's an amazing feeling I'll cherish for, for a very, very long time.